What's up guys, it's Ed and welcome to an interesting unboxing experience here on TechSource. On the table we have some goodies as you can tell. We have one of the latest generation Z170 motherboards from ASUS, some DDR4 RAM from Corsair with the new airflow feature, and lastly this mysterious box from Intel which I have no idea what's inside. So just out of curiosity, let's go ahead and start with the mysterious Intel Box Master System. It looks like a retro themed box, something straight out of the 80s. On the side of the box it appears to have some of the games highlighted and it really reminds me of the time where I got my first original Nintendo system. I especially like the last game Office Hero. Sometimes the best way to unwind after a day at the office is with a day at the office. I gotta say that Intel has a sense of humor. Alright, so let's go ahead and continue on with the unboxing. Uh, opening up the flap, we are greeted with the Master System. It has a plastic cover with a wooden style finish for the base. Uh, it appears to have two latches on the front, and popping those open, we are immediately greeted with some sort of a control panel with a message that says, experience what's inside. Intel has definitely put some thought into this. It appears to be some sort of a puzzle where hitting the right notes will unlock the cover. It will display which notes are incorrect by lighting it up in red, and after many attempts, I finally managed to get it right. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen, laying neatly inside one of the newest generation Intel Core processors. Popping this tiny box open, we are greeted by the one and only i7-6700K processor and a surprisingly smaller than I would have imagined. This is a quad-core LGA1151 socket CPU with a clock speed of 4.0GHz that features an integrated HD Graphics 530 chip. The processor will also give you up to 16 PCIe lanes. But I'm definitely curious how well it overclocks and I might be doing a build with it soon. But for those of you that are interested in checking out the processor for yourself, I'll go ahead and drop a link down below. So there appears to be a second layer underneath. Intel has also included their amazing 750 SSDs, which is a PCIe based solid state drive. And you can get speeds of up to 2200 read and 900 write. That's insane. Let's go ahead and move on to the other two parts I received, starting off with the RAM sticks. So this is the new Corsair Vengeance Airflow DDR4 RAM sticks, and we have four sticks of 4GB each with a memory clock speed of 3200 MHz. Opening up the boxes, we can see the included fans and the sticks of RAM. These are extremely fast RAM sticks and I cannot wait to test them out. So underneath the flap are two additional colored brackets that you can install if you want to go with a color to match your build, and we do have blue and silver with the red already installed by default. So the idea behind this fan is to cool your RAM sticks for extreme overclocking, and I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like when it's installed later in this video. Last but not least, we have the amazing ASUS Z170 Deluxe motherboard, the latest generation boards compatible with the new 6th generation Skylake processors. This motherboard comes with a ton of awesome features like 5-way optimization, Turbo LAN, Crystal Sound 3 and more, but if you guys want to see a full review of this board, be sure to let me know in the comments section. So this motherboard has 4 RAM slots that supports up to 64GB of DDR4 memory on a dual channel with speeds of up to 3466MHz. It also features 3 PCI Express 3.0 slots and 4 PCIe 2.0 slots. For the I.O., the motherboard features a total of 8 USB ports with a combination of USB Type-C, 3.0 and below, along with an HDMI and display port. In terms of SATA ports, you get a total of 8, but that's basically it for the overview of the motherboard. So besides the amazing features, the board itself looks stunning with the white I.O. covers, and it will definitely go well with any setup. By the way, this is what the Vengeance Airflow RAM sticks would look like with the fan installed. It definitely adds a unique look to your build, but if you don't plan on overclocking the memory, then you don't need to use it. But anyways, that's it for the unboxing and overview. If you guys want to see a PC build with these parts, then be sure to smash that like button and I'll get started on it right away. As I mentioned before, if you guys want info on pricing and availability on the Intel processors, then you should check out the link down below. But anyways, thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next video.